No. Hey, Bank. <coughs> Sorry. How is getting on? How is getting on? How are you all getting on out there in Tellyland? <coughs> I've uh, I've been trying for about three hours yesterday, and I think about an hour today. I've been trying to get all that other video sorted, but I just decided I didn't want to. Yeah, it's come along, and it's been it's been I've been converting, I've been chopping, I've been changing, I've been rendering. And nothing seems to want to fit together. So I decided to just completely give up on it. Screw it. Screw it. Um, I did say I was going to throw up stuff on... That I stared in before. Never mind that in the background. Uh, I was going to throw up what I was, I was acting in before. But strange folk films. Uh, strange folk film. Uh, team. But... It, it just doesn't want to. It doesn't want to. It's a fucking bastard. Uh, I'll put a link down below to one or two of the videos that I stared in that they, or that they made. Because uh, I couldn't be arsed at doing it anymore. My laptop can't handle it better than what I have on it, so I'm just not going to bother trying with it. So I'll tell you a little story about what happened last week. Uh, this is Friday. I think it's the 2nd of December. So it was last week, last Friday. So seven days ago. <coughs> uh, yeah, seven days ago. So, I got a laptop for work. I got a laptop from work. Because, just in case it snows and I can't get into work in my car, I can work from home. So, I was given the laptop and I logged into it and I put everything on it. And as I was going through the installation, it said, Alright, yes, so you have, have to register to yourself and put in your password and make sure that it's taken your password. So I was like, okay, yeah, so I entered in my password, and then it's like, alright, yeah, a few more steps, and then it's like, oh no, you have to reboot. So I rebooted. And then the laptop wouldn't accept my password. So I decided, or it was, it was said to me that I have to ring India. So this is this is, this is as much as we know. We, pre we press the number on the phone, we get on to, it's 99, actually no, all of the time, it's a team of Indians. It's people in India, in Bangalore or Bangladesh or New Delhi or somewhere in and around that region because yeah, as we know, as a lot of people know or as a lot of people should know that's where a lot of companies have outsourced their tech support to so I got on to one guy and he went through the whole thing it's like okay what's your what's your email address what's your staff ID give gave him all that okay and what's your problem what's your how can I help you and it's like I need to, re to reset my Windows password on a machine so he's like, okay, uh, I'll just start writing up a ticket. So he has to send a ticket, give up, put all my information in a ticket and send it to, uh, apparently it was the guys, the local guys, the local IT guys who are apparently 20, 30 foot away from us in a, in a different room. So he was like, okay, so I took down all my details, got a phone number, got location. And it's like, where are you? I was like, oh, we're in, we're in Blanchard's town. He's like, okay, grant you. So, uh, what's to make it a computer? And I was like, it's, a, it's an IBM ThinkPad T60. He's like, okay, what's the serial number? I was like, I don't know, it's scratched off. So, <coughs> see if I can get it out of here actually. I'll just whip it out. Who's ringing me now? I'll come back to you. Give me a minute. Good night. Sorry about that. Uh, just as I had. <laughs> Just I put the camera down and went to answer the phone, that was my phone ringing. Just I went to put the camera down uh, and answer the phone, to, uh, it stopped ringing, so I missed that call. So, ignore that. Uh, in the meantime, I've got the laptop out, I'm going to show you here that the serial number is scratched off. Uh, I'll just show you this here now. So this, I explained this to the guy. It's like, can't get the serial number, because it's scratched off. Look at that. That's scratched off because it's a piece of shit. That's, it's all completely gone there. And he was like, oh, well... I can't lock a ticket for you. And I was like, why? And he's like, I've no serial number. And he's like, okay. I, or, I, I was like, okay, well, uh, what can I do? And he's like, oh, well, uh, <clears throat> I, there, there's nothing you can do. I can't lock a ticket if I don't have the serial number. So I was like, so you're locking a ticket 
Are you refusing to log a ticket to alert the guys in, my ne in the next room over that they have to come in, do whatever they need to do, a quick two minute do to three minute job, and reset me password? And he's like, yeah. Right. So, this one I got pissed off at him slightly. Because, I'm in a call centre, so I know what it's like when this shit happens. So I was like, right, fuck it. I need to speak to a supervisor. <clears throat> and this is where shit got weird. This is where shit got weird. So I was on hold for 10 minutes. Give or take. He comes back off the phone and he's like, Oh, I'm so sorry. I was like, He was looking around the entire office apparently and couldn't find any supervisor, any manager, no team leaders, nothing. Couldn't find anybody higher than himself. Why? Because they were all on a long weekend for Thanksgiving. Now, what? Correct me if I'm wrong here, but if anybody knows the, the history of Thanksgiving, please, please, do, do confirm to me that Thanksgiving is an American-only tradition. It might be an American company. I work for IBM, it might be an American company. But that doesn't mean... I didn't celebrate Thanksgiving. None, none of my colleagues did. Why? Because we support an Irish company. They support, well, I think a lot everybody in IBM. And while a lot of them are in America, not everybody is. So fuck them. Fuck them. So I said, right, fuck you. Just log a ticket. Close it and say, I am very dissatisfied with this, with this service. I needed this log. I couldn't provide the information, so you refuse to log a ticket. So he said, okay, I'll do that. And I got the ticket number. He then, I then got a copy of the email, or a copy of the ticket emailed along to me, and it was nothing as what I said to him. It said that I rang up for a password reset, couldn't provide the, the, the details required, and that I'd ring back. Now, fuck them. I am not ringing them again. As I said to them, I went off on a mad rant about them then, creating a new ticket, a new ticket over the email, saying it's like, fuck yous all. Fuck yous. I didn't curse in it, but I just... When I get pissed off, I use very politically correct terms, and I, I, I'm, I'm very, very, very outrageously polite. What? No, I, 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 I kind of, I, talk, I, I type proper, and I use big words, and I sound official, even when I'm, I, everybody knows I'm talking shite. Uh, so on Monday, <clears throat> came back in, and obviously all the. All the management were, were back in again because Thanksgiving was over. Uh, somebody got on to me. Somebody pinged me. So we, we call this instant messaging. The instant messaging we use. They pinged me. And they were like, okay, and uh, how, how's it going? Uh, uh, this is in relation to the ticket. I was like, yeah, what about it? I was like, have you got an update for us? What? They were asking me for an update. It's like, Really? Did you read the rant that got attached to that ticket? And she was like, no, I didn't. I just looked at the main of it, the main part of it. All right, well, well, go away and come come back when you have actually looked at it. So went through it and she looked at it and she came back five minutes later. Uh, what did I say? I think her name was Sudafed or something like that. Uh, she said, uh, okay, well, we've, we've, I'm going to talk to my team leader here. He's back now. Uh, he's right beside me and I'm going to get a special thing put on your account. That it'll allow you without the serial number to get somebody to uh, do whatever here, to do whatever they do in your building to reset the password. <clears throat> so I was like, all right, that's fantastic. How will I get that done? Get your manager to ring us. Are you fucking serious? So I was like, no, no, I refuse. I am not doing it. I'm not getting my manager to ring you. I logged this ticket. It was meant to be closed. I then opened a new one with my tirade, and now you're coming back demanding that I do this. Fuck off. <laughs> Again, I wasn't cursing at them or anything like that. I just politely said no. So, she was like, oh, okay. And that was that. I didn't hear anything. Then about 3 o'clock that day. It was half two, three o'clock that day. Somebody else got on to me. It's like, hi, I'm, I'm glad of that from, from the, the, the desk side support or the service desk team. Did you rang? I was like, yeah. I was like, this is in relation to the ticket. Yeah, I imagine, I, I, I got that. What do you want? Well, have you got an update for us? Divine Jesus Christ and a penny farthing kicking a crocodile in the face. <coughs> I said, Look, read through the rest of it. And he, he, he was like, Yes, I have. And I was like, Well, what do you want me to do? Have you read any of the thing that I, about the conversation I had with your one earlier? 
I did, yeah. So what do you want me to do? I do I'm not updating this ticket. I'm, I'm t go away. And he's like, all right, well, I, I, I can just send the ticket to local support. And he's like, and I was like, oh, well, I've already got them to look into it for you. Or I've, got, I've already got them to look into it for me. He's like, oh, okay. Okay, well, I can get a phone, can I get a phone number for you? It's meant to be in the original ticket. I work at a call centre, so there's no point in putting a fucking phone number in it, because they won't be able to ring me if there's hundreds of calls in a queue. Okay. Well, can I get a phone number anyway? So I gave him one. Right. Where are you? So I was like, are you shitting me? This is meant to be the, in the original fucking ticket. Yeah, I know, but it wasn't in it. All right, well, I want to raise a separate complaint about this guy. All right, we'll do that after. I'm actually just remembering. There. She was like, right, and what's your desk number? Right. No, that wasn't the original ticket. So, yeah, I gave me the number. Right, and uh, that, that's grand. We're going to get somebody down to you. <clears throat> so, that was great. And I was like, oh, great, thanks. Then I went off and did the whole complaint thing with him. Uh, probably nothing's going to happen out of that because they're all fuckers. Uh, so, then, two minutes later, I get somebody else pinging me. Uh, I think his name was Shoji. And uh, I was like, oh, what the hell did they want? Because he was an Indian as well, and he had an Indian name. So he's like, uh, what's your desk number? I was like, uh, it's in the ticket there, but uh, it's D97. And he's like, oh, that's grand, I'll be over in two minutes. What? Fantastic. So he arrived down at my desk, I gave him the laptop, and he had it done. I think he just put a CD in, and he did the Windows whatever, grabbed the Windows lap key, or whatever the hell they did. Reset the Windows password, just did it locally on the machine. A quick 30 second to a minute job, that was it. Next time I need to get on to India, I am not getting in touch with those fucking wankers again. Anyway, <clears throat> there's other parts of the... Oh, that fucking laptop. It's a, oh, it annoys me. It annoys me. Uh, but that was that. That was, that was my last Friday. That was just one day. No, one day. Two days, because that was Friday and Monday. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I'm going to try and get other videos up soon enough. See if I can get any more of two. Jeez, I'm tired. I'm going to see if I can get any more uh, think of any more stories and shit that happens from me from time to time which is nice just to instead of going out and about just sitting here on my bed freezing my hand off because it's a very cold house at the moment because the fucking heating doesn't seem to want to work at all uh, but that's that <clears throat> anyhow uh, thanks for watching if you actually watched this long <laughs> uh, uh, I know it's just a picture of my face, and not everybody is interested in my face, but I am. I like my face, though I do need to shave. And somebody did comment that I look like a fucking Muslim because of my haircut and my fucking beard, but fuck you, and fuck your fucking fuck fuck. Uh, either way, that's me signing off for this video. I'll try and have another one up soon enough. I'll see if I can get the others working. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, either way, uh, actually, no, I'm not going to link them in this one. No, I will. I will. I'll link them down below. Uh, so there's no point in me actually creating a video of it on my own. Anyhow, <coughs> that's that. Good luck to you.